Alright guys, welcome back to Barbells and Burnouts. So, I'm here with my buddy Ryan. Um, we're doing a fun leg day today. So, we're here at Swim Quest Gym. And we're about to have some fun. So, before I get into that, I want to show you guys this. The new Send It Through the Block hoodies. So, these are the barbells and burnouts. Send It Through the Block hoodies that have just dropped. They dropped on Christmas. Uh, you guys are probably going to see this video what is it, the 27th? They're going to probably see this video probably the 30th. But these are the new hoodies that drop. Um, so make sure to DM us on Instagram or leave a comment below and we'll get in touch with you. And we'll be able to, you know, send out the, the DM inquiries and invoice for you guys to pick it up. All right, so what are we doing today, Ryan? We're doing what fun today? <laughs> a lot of fun today. It's leg day. Oh, yeah. Woo! So we're going to die. Um, Ryan is going to take me through um, his workout for leg day. Uh, he said it's a 16. I used to do a 5x5. Five five. We're squatting. We'll, we'll, we'll do 12. We'll do 12. Bring it down a little bit. I don't want you throwing up. I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to squat and then we're going to go deadlift. So um, I don't know if my back is going to be okay for this, but we're going to have fun for it. Right? So let's get it done. Let the games begin. <laughs> I mean, abs are hurting, but legs still feel good. We're going on the core a little bit. No one's going to come on soon, though. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I guess we're committing the cardinal sin right now. Uh -oh. But um, I wanted you guys to hear Ryan's story. So when I knew Ryan um, in high school, I knew from, what, 2009 to 2012-ish? Yeah. Yeah? So, uh, yeah, we're not that old, but we're kind of old. <laughs> I knew Ryan. Ryan was, you. how much, how much did you weigh about that? Uh, I got to about 255. 255? Yeah. I was never any lighter than 240. <laughs> I knew I was, Ryan was a big guy. I used to, when I was in middle school, I was my worst. I was about uh, 240 and about 410. Mm. The same height laying down as it was standing up, so. <laughs> the ball. What, what, what made the transformation? Because you're, you're what now? How much do you weigh right now? About 190. So what made this big transformation? Because I remember like, you were trap bar deadlifting with us yeah, in high school. Yeah. You hit like, what, was it five or six? Wait. A little over five. A little over five. five, yeah. What like sparked this? So, uh. I was never really into working out. Mm -hmm. I was always a strong kid, even when I was walking around like a ball. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I tried football in middle school, really enjoyed it. Um, then continued with it into high school. And then in high school, I started losing weight. And I really enjoyed football, but there was also, we had to do weightlifting. We had to go to the weight room. That's where we met Isa. Yeah, yeah. Great guy. Yeah. Um, got us into lifting, for real. Absolutely. Got our forms down. We did Olympic lifting, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And we had to do that as part of the football training camp. And what I ended up realizing is, once football was over, I realized that weightlifting was actually what I really liked. Yeah. Uh, at first it was a chore, you know, you got the houses on your hands, you're just yeah. bleeding. You know, I remember doing front squats and being like, getting choked out, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but eventually I really fell in love with that sport, and once, once high school was over, I really was like, okay, I want to focus on working out. Mm -hmm. um, first I was going to do Olympic lifting, and way back in 2012, that was kind of hard to come around, yeah, find a... Yeah. Find a gym with Olympic plates and Olympic bars that can. I think really our gym it. at the high school might have been one of the few that it was. had it. Yeah. 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 The Morristown. You went to Morristown High School. Morristown High School. Yeah. Oh, and I'm going yeah. to Rutgers, and they did have an Olympic training area, okay. but it was open for weird hours, like nice. 5 to 7 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah. Okay. So I ended up, I ended up not going. It wasn't on the same camp as me. I wasn't allowed to have a car. Yeah. Uh, so what ended up happening is I was like, fuck it, you know. Let's say that. Yeah, yeah. I'll put it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I realized that bodybuilding is what I really wanted. Okay. And that's when I just started losing the weight. I went from two, 255 down to about 205. Really? Um, and like how how long of a time? Was that? Honestly, it probably wasn't particularly healthy. Oh, gosh. Probably about six months. Right. 50 pounds in six months, yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot of protein though, so I was still able to build some muscle. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's really tanked my metabolism. I've spent like the last, really about four years trying to get my metabolism back up there. Um, would, not, would not suggest doing that. Yeah. That should be a two or three year kind of deal, lose 50 pounds. You want to do it healthily. Yeah. And now basically, um, I was really, really afraid to bulk up for a long time because yeah. of that. You know, I was up at 255, got down to 205. Um, bulked up to like 215, which is nothing. Yeah. Then cut down to 200. Then went up to 210, went down to 195. Ended up getting down to about 183. 
Really? And I was sophomore year of college. And then I was like, you know, I really need to, I'm looking skinny, I'm looking frail. Wow, I'm, <laughs> right now I'm sitting at, I weighed myself like an hour ago, I'm like 179, so. <laughs> He's got a foot on me in height, so. <laughs> so I'm frail. <laughs> no, no, you're good, you're good. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, it was just one of these things, and I was like, you know, I really think I need to bulk up. You know, I was starting to struggle with, with weight that I was fine with three months ago, and I really, at that moment I realized, yeah, I was shredded. But my body was just basically breaking down muscle at this yeah. point. There's no fat left to break down. You know, I'm this little skinny guy. And we basically just like, okay, we need a bulk. And I did a, a real bulk. I got up to about 225 from 183. Okay. Uh, still looked pretty good. Then I cut down to about 190. Felt much better at 190. Yeah. Kept about my same strength. And then, uh, then I did the crazy bulk. And I'm not entirely sure I liked, but I got up to about 242. Oh, man. Was huge. Was squatting uh, 445 for 12. Oh my! I do remember that. I'm gonna see if I can find. I'm gonna grab that clip from Instagram and put it right here. <laughs> it's should. crazy. Uh, was squatting six plates for doubles. Deadlifting six plates for triples by fours. I was kind of stopping because I was rupturing blood vessels in my eyes. Oh my gosh! Leg press became easy. I was loading it up with 32 plates, banging out for 24 reps. Oh my gosh! Knees to chest. Uh, bench always sucked. <laughs> I was doing like 355 for doubles. I can never get that really up. Shoulder press was 225 for four. Wow. Uh, standing. Um, those kinds of things. But then we go back to that 445 for 12. I end up uh, actually, of all things, I tore my forearm from a low bar right in here. Okay. So that was just from all the all the tension of the bar. And that's actually in the video. If you look, look real closely, you can actually hear a little hear a little pop, and you see the guy spotting me go. <laughs> but uh. And then that's kind of, that was a big, I realized at that moment that, uh, one, I didn't like the way I looked, which has always been a, a battle with me. Yeah. But, uh, so on top of that, I realized that at any moment, I could just kind of injure myself. So from that moment on, I've really been doing 16, well, 20s, 16s, 12s, and 8s. Um, and I've shredded back down to 190, um, mostly because of grad school. Yeah. <laughs> at one that point, went to a lot to <laughs> At one point, I was uh, working, which means studying, classes, teaching, and research was counting for about 140 hours a week. Oh my gosh. It's only 168 hours in a week, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't have, and that doesn't include time to make food, eat, and sleep, yeah. you know, so. So you were just like, I'm all zombie. That. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I lost 30 pounds my first year. Yeah. And that was mostly because I wasn't working out. I didn't work out for about six months. Really? Uh, winter break came around, and I was like, oh, let's go. I was sitting at like 210 maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, I lost a lot of strength, but my ratio stayed about the same. You know, at the time I was, that working out at all. Instead of squatting 600 at 240, I was squatting 500 at 200. So, about the same ratios, which is good, because I just try to keep my protein high. Yeah. Protein about 220, 230 at 200. Now I'm down at 190, and my strength has gone up a little bit, so I'm I'm happy with where I'm at now. Yeah, I see um, it, man. You just, oh, you're hitting the 330. Yeah, I need that adrenaline. The, the, head, the headphones plus the belt, really. Yeah. The weight goes. I just gotta yell a little bit, yeah. kind of get in my own head, and yeah. it, it moves. Um, but basically, the, my biggest problem so far has been my legs got so strong that my back and everything else is what fails. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if I, I didn't mention this yet, but you know, I ruptured my right hamstring when I played rugby and, yeah, yeah. and football. And that was my biggest injury. That took me out seriously lifting for over a year. Um, lifting in any kind of version, about three months. Wow. I could bench like with my legs up and stuff. Okay. Not really up, just kind of hanging, dangling, yeah. like, <laughs> like don't use them. <laughs> don't use it. Yeah, I couldn't even hold them up, you know. But uh, that was definitely my worst injury. That took me a really long time to get my squat back. Mm, At the yeah. time, I was squatting about 500. Um, three months later, I decided, actually, uh, the, my uh, I guess trainer, you know, yeah. physical therapist, yeah. he told me you should probably start trying to do some bodyweight squats. Yeah. You know, no bar or anything. And I was able to do those okay after three months. And then I was like, okay, you know what? what can I actually lift? And I unracked 135 and realized I couldn't squat 135. I remember seeing that video and I read the post. It, it looked like you were, you could read in the post, you could see in the post that he was really hurting about what was going on. I remember reading, I was like, oh, that was boy, he's getting, yeah, getting, he's hurting from that one. That, that, was, that was a big, like, ego kill, you know. Yeah. Was, but, um, you know, actually, what saved me was I, I couldn't do leg extensions. 
Uh, I couldn't do leg curls, definitely not leg curls. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I felt like it was, I was picking, I guess, branding myself or something. It oh felt like physical God. heat, like fire. Not like, oh, you know, it kind of burns. No, I felt, it felt like, like someone like... took someone off the stove and went, Yeah. You know? Um, when I'm realizing I could do close leg leg press, mm. no problem with that at all. And the first time I ever did it, I did 1,600 reps, one set. And, uh, He's not, he, I, knowing Ryan, I don't even have to hear, like, have any proof, he probably did that. <laughs> I was doing, uh, I do 16 reps, pick, lock it out, not lock it out, never lock out a leg press. <laughs> Almost lock out, take a big, and then do 16 more, so that's 100 sets. Um, oh my without gosh. putting the weight down. I stopped eventually because my legs, my feet were falling asleep. Oh my and I realized, gosh. that's probably not a good idea, that's how you get nerve damage. Yeah. So, uh, but that was recovery, you know, I, I couldn't touch an extension, a curl, uh, anything really except, not even calf raises, I couldn't really? keep my legs stable, I was, yeah. I'd be shaking. You know, I, I had to stop doing uh, standing military press, because yeah. I couldn't stay stable, so I had to go to seating. Um, but the biggest thing was the deadlift. Yeah, I know that hurts you. And, uh, you I love do. it almost as much as I do. Almost, almost. <laughs> and uh, I still haven't gone heavy with deadlifts since. Really? So we'll, we'll see what we can do here. Mm -hmm. um, you're the only time I outlift him. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at the lap. It's not gonna happen. Well, you might, you might. <laughs> I, I haven't really pulled over. Uh, was it doing four or five, four thirty-five, something like that? Okay. I'll go over that. Just for the video, I'm gonna go over that. Just, just message you for twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't doing that. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what I can do today. Yeah. I've never, I've never deadlifted out of a squat, so I may be like, ah, oh, three thirteen. <laughs> we good <laughs> singles. Yeah. So we'll see. He's used to this. I'm singles is easy, and y'all seen that? I always deadlift after squat, but it's it's a lot on your back. It's yeah. a lot on your back. Well, well I mean that's, that's what deadlift is for, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, normally after squats, I go over to leg press. Mm. I do leg press close, feet touching, leg press wide all the way out the corners. So my toes are actually hanging off. Um, do those all for 12 to 24 reps. Just keep throwing on plates till I will fail at 12 or 24. Or my feet start to slide. That's always a you don't want the feet to slide. That's that's how you end up on World Star. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then I would go over to extensions to failure, uh, leg curls to failure. Uh, got the abductors and the adductors. You know, yeah. good girl, bad girl. Uh, yeah. I love those. Those are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and then caps. And that's normally my leg day. So this is a total shock. Not used to hitting some deadlifts now, but yeah. I'm excited of, for speaking it. Speaking of deadlifts, he pulled it. Ooh. He pulled it. <laughs> he pulled it. That's about, that's what, five, I think 500. Looks like 500. I'm still not used to the weirdly colored plates. Yeah. These are Olympic plates, which are completely yeah. different, but yeah. 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 Well, but yeah, well, we'll see what we do on this deadlift. I'm excited. We I got am this. too. It's a good, nice little uh, rest we had. We didn't rest. Yeah, no, I, I, I got some breathing. I'm still like, <gasps> After that last set, so I'm... Well, let's knock him out! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> So I bullied Ryan into going to 405 with me. <laughs> are you are you are you kind of mad at me for this? Or are you sure you want to do it? Just a little bit. Oh, okay. I think he's. I think he'll hit it easily. Um, he'll be fine. <laughs> Hopefully, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Yeah, right. I'm just struggling like you 275 with a belly. Oh, look at that.
<laughs> really? Look at it. Look at it. Look at his waist. Let me see that waistline. Real lifted. All right. It's lightweight. I don't know why you're acting like it's heavy. <laughs> A small man. Oh, hey, man. Oh, look. We got a nice little visitor. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what, what do you do with Mr. Straps? <laughs> He's putting on the straps, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. Big pull. Big pull. That's easy. That was easy. Oh, I hate that. Big pull. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know anything? Oh yeah. Oh. Ooh, oh, look at that control. <laughs> oh, my spine's gonna go push my whip out of my back. Oh. Oh wait, wait, you got it on camera. You gonna fall out on camera? <laughs> oh, my hammies, my so, back. So how did it feel? Are you I feel way weaker. So, um, you guys saw I failed at five or 495. Uh, I kind of knew that was gonna happen. Um, I'm not making any excuses, right? Oh wait, hold on. Go back down there. You, are you okay, right over there, sir? I'm uh, just, you know, uh, <laughs> just walking around like I'm like 105. <laughs> but I failed at 495. So I went and hit what you guys are gonna see or what you guys just saw was me hit um, 445. So, and then I did it, I was mad. I was like, I'm gonna hit conventional one at 405. Because you guys who say, sumo, uh, you can lift heavy with 405. I can still hit both, all right? So whatever, all right? So what are you gonna do at, at 315? I mean, we're gonna go for one and see how that looks, see if my back comes out like a whip or not. <laughs> uh, if it doesn't, we'll go for two and continue from there. Okay. We'll see. I don't know much you got left, but. Uh, okay, well, I, we'll see. <laughs> we're gonna have some fun. Slow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice and slow. Wow, wait. <laughs> nice and slow. <laughs> Here comes a lightheaded. Wow, wait. <laughs> I can't even talk. I'm good. Is that a stroke a little bit? Yeah, not a little bit. Wow. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. So um, I kind of dirty the bar. You have to clean this, but this is how you know. Focus. This is how you know. This is why I'm. Can I wear these? <laughs> You'll be fine. I don't want no AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> this is the machine right there. Look at that. Oh, we bleed and bleed today. We bleed and bleed. Good workout, Alex. <laughs> All right, now hit the damn weight. <laughs> what do we do? We do we doing like some face face pulls? 
<laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> I just go back to you. <laughs> I saw it in your face. Oh, oh shit, here we go. Down goes Frazier. <laughs> I'm gonna use that as a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Nice and easy. It's like a cool down rep. So we're gonna hit some upper back real quick. Uh, Ryan, walk here, walk to me real quick. Oh, you, you're not limping no feel real tall. No, I'm, I'm not limping, but the camera's on. <laughs> oh, okay. He just walked over here, looked like he was geriatric. Why are you doing that, camera? You better not come out in a video like that. But he looked- kind of cool. Like some, like, <laughs> some like twitch stuff. Yeah, yeah. But we're about to hit um, upper back real quick to finish it out. Um, a little bit of bodybuilding, throwing it in a little bit. Yeah. How does your lower back and legs feel right now? So actually my legs feel, Pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. I'll probably hit a leg day tomorrow if you want to come. Oh god, he's trying to kill me. But let me lower back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be like three inches lower in the chair when I'm driving <laughs> home today, so I won't be able to see through any of my mirrors. I'll be like readjust, be like. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. So, well, well, let's let's hurt the upper back now. Well, yeah, not hurt it. This is like Slender Man. That's what it is. Yeah. Isn't it just see the static. <laughs> kind of cool if it was in the video like that. I, I hope it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get. Ooh. This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 Uh -huh. Can't see anything, big ass fucking shirt. Oh, yeah, oh, good. It's like, oh, oh. Oh, he's like, he doesn't even lift. It's like, wait. First day in the gym. It's like, close the blinds, open the blinds. <laughs> I did 10. I didn't even think I was going to hit 10. Yeah. It's the camera. I was like, I can't even look like a little punk for the camera. Can't look like a little <laughs> on the camera. <laughs> oh, All man. Right. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, but I'm dying. <laughs> How you feeling? <laughs> my back. <laughs> my <laughs> see, had my crack. <laughs> oh. He's not. He's literally bent up over here. Oh. <laughs> dying. <laughs> Are you sure I didn't throw up? No blood coming out of my eyes? No yeah. ruptured blood vessels? Yeah. Didn't shit myself? Didn't piss myself? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no asthma attack. Uh, didn't die, right? I'm yeah. still alive. Yeah. I think I'm gonna hit legs tomorrow, though. Hey, chill out. <laughs> Leg day tomorrow. No, hey, I'm. <laughs> where's my stuff? <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, it was a good, it was a good workout, you know. It was yeah, a good it workout. was great. Yeah. Great to switch things up a bit, you know. I'm not, I'm not used to doing some of the powerlifting styles, fives. I'm like, Ooh. not used to that. But uh, yeah, man, it was great. Yeah. Absolutely. Ten out of ten would do again. It sounds like we're gonna do it again then. Yeah. yeah. So next time we're gonna hit, what are we hitting? What are you hitting Sunday? Sunday. Well, well we're uh, doing tomorrow. We're tomorrow, doing. tomorrow's legs. Tomorrow we're gonna hit legs. Since we already squatted, we'll start with leg press. And uh, we'll work our way up from there, you know? He's leg press, to kill me. some extensions, some curls. Uh, we'll do some abductors, adductors, calves. And uh, that, that'll probably be a good start. I'm going to die. <laughs> What are you hitting Sunday too? We can always go back to squats again if, if our legs are feeling easy, you know? I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Lots gonna, of the gods, bro. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that sounds like fun. I guess we're gonna hit that tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, we'll hit that tomorrow. All right, um, so like I said, make sure, or I'll have you in it when I end it. Make sure you guys are paying attention to everything we do. Make sure you subscribe, ring that little bell. Uh, check out Ryan uh, on his Instagram. At Glinkin. Yes, I'm gonna put it on the put it right here <laughs> for you guys um like i said check out the link on the page on the barbells and brownouts page i can't even think right now on the barbells and brownouts <laughs> page no blood in here we got in our legs and our back exactly 
check out the link on the Barbells and Brownouts page for the hoodies. Check them out. Um, they're on sale. They're made to order, so just DM if you would want them. And remember to like, share, subscribe, guys. All right? See you later.